Hi, my name is Dr. Lorena del Pilar Bonilla, and I'm one of the members uh, in the Florida chapter of the Doctors for Camp Closure. Um, I'm here um, at the uh, Broward Transitional Center. Uh, before I go to the lawn, I'm going to say a few words as to why I'm here. Uh, there are several physicians uh, that haven't been able to attend today. Um, we do take time off uh, to come to these events to show support for the community, for the detainees, as well as the family members of the detainees at ICE facilities. Uh, we think that it's important to speak about the social public health impact and crisis that this pandemic can have um, at the detention center um, with the detainees along with the staff and the staff that leaves and interacts with their families and communities. Uh, this is the reason why um, we come and ask, really demand that uh, ICE releases the detainees. It is imperative that our government addresses this issue um, as quickly as they can. We know that congressional leaders are um, asking for uh, inspections of the detention centers to occur. And as of in 2009, there were um, at least four centers throughout the United States that uh, showed uh, inadequacies with regards to safety. Um, there was reports of mold in the bathroom, mildew, uh, not enough hygienic supplies being provided uh, to the detainees. And this was even before the pandemic. Uh, so the conditions of the detention centers that uh, have overcrowding with not enough supplies is conducive to spread the virus uh, to the detainees themselves, to the staff, and cause an outbreak at any of these centers, uh, which will spread. And um, this is not in alignment with what the CDC requires or proposes for public health safety. Uh, we also want to avoid having uh, detainees that may not be getting adequate medical care. We know that patients who have uh, chronic medical conditions such as chronic lung disease, diabetes, hypertension, other cardiovascular disease are immunocompromised. They have the worst outcomes. Uh, they suffer from COVID-19 uh, with severity and it can be life-threatening. We want to avoid uh, these detainees from suffering and jeopardizing the health of the communities in South Florida. And for that matter, in the state of Florida. So uh, we want the detainees to know that uh, we've been thinking along with my other colleagues. Um, we are not stepping back. Uh, this is work in progress. We will continue to use our voices to speak on your behalf. Um, you're not alone. We deeply care about your safety. Uh, we know that your families are suffering. Uh, we imagine how you must be inside uh, feeling scared, feeling neglected, feeling abandoned. Um, there is a, an entire community of physicians nationwide that are uh, trying to bring light to this issue. Um, there was a 24 hour vigil that ran for a week um, across the United States. And um, today was going to be uh, in representation of that um, in addition, there's also immigration advocacy groups 
uh, that are working in conjunction with uh, Doctors for Camp Closure. And we're very grateful for that. We're committed. We are going to continue adding uh, pressure to our government leaders to address uh, this crisis. I'll give you an update if I have one in a bit. Have a good day.